can get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. We are here to do another reaction to my man. Well, I really don't know him, but I'll tell you about him. Jerry Rafferty? <laughs> Baker Street. Anyway, man, as always, I can't do that without the guys and the crew. Phenom 202 and Hollywood DA. So, Hollywood DA, what's going on, brother? Get right for the camera. Ready to jump into this, man. See what this man got to say, yo. I don't, I'm, I'm interested. Baker Street, uh, just the name alone. I don't know, for some reason, the name kind of got me in. I'm like, ah, right, let's see what, what, what's going on here. But, you know, if he ain't got the melanin, I probably never heard of him, which I haven't. So, let's go. All right, man. Phenom 202, what say you? Yeah. Phenom 202, DDA representative. Um, I'm vaguely familiar with this song. I know the beat. Well, it's not even a beat. It's the instruments, yo. It's the 70s, yo. So they play instruments back in the 70s, yo. Okay. Um, but it sound like some Miami Vice type. So I got really? I feel I probably know another song, man. Mm. You might have heard it. You might. I know you probably heard. I probably never heard any lyrics to the song, but you probably heard the beat. All right. Okay. All right. Well, you know, quick little info. This song was released in uh, February of 1978. Oh. And it was, it went to number, this is interesting. It must have had two charts back then because it says number one on Cashbox and number two on the Billboard Hot 100. So I don't know what the hell Cashbox is. I, was say, I never heard that shit. That was, yeah, that was it was, just, yeah. yeah. I don't know what Cashbox that is, was, but it was the number two song the, right the behind beta, uh, the Andy beta, Hill. The beta to my VHS. Yeah, that's what Cashbox is like. Hey, they ain't making it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> It was like uh, Blu-ray and what was the other shit they had that it just went. Anyway, anyway. But anyway, uh, Andy Gibb was the number one spot. And this was number two. Uh, it reached number one in Canada, Australia, and South Africa. And number three in the United Kingdom. So this was whatever the hell this was. It was one hell of a hit. And uh, it's considered jazz rock. Yeah. Interesting. So Definitely has a jazz feel to it. Yeah, so. that's okay. interesting. I haven't heard that term before. Jazz I never rock. heard that term. <laughs> yeah, this is jazz, it's jazz, jazz rock. Jazz rock. <laughs> so, okay, let's roll. I don't know. That's uh, yeah. I don't know. It's named after Baker Street in London. So I uh, will. We'll see what this is, man. You guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah, man. All right, man. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Definitely jazz, jazz feel too. Right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Winding your way down a Baker Street, lighting your head and dead on your feet. Just took a turn. <laughs> Definitely heard that, that horn, yo. <laughs> I've never heard this song before. You know what I think of when I hear that horn? I think of the Blue Oyster from uh, Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of. <laughs> yeah. Down the street, there's a lot. 
If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, check out the Blue Oyster from Police Academy. Get a rock. Well, that's funky right there. That's it. They cut him off. Yeah. They cut him. Yeah, they, they cut, cut him off right there. Honestly, yo, I would have, I, I, I would have enjoyed to hear what that was gonna sound like uh, with the sax and the somebody and the good and the rock guitar, the yeah, guitar, and the, like, I mean, I the electric like, guitar, yeah. yeah let, let's go at it, yo. They could because it's jazz little, rock. Yeah, they could have had a little back and forth. I'm like, oh shit, look. Yeah, yeah, they could have did something. But I mean, let that. Let, yeah, I, I would have. I was hoping for that too. You know, because. I'm not gonna lie, you know, when, when I hear the horns come in, I do, I did, it did bring me to the Blue Oyster at Police Academy, just that, du, 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 yeah, you know, yeah. so <laughs> it just, it just brought me to that, um, that but other blue, than that, blue oyster, yeah, oyster, fuck Florida, go ahead, <laughs> but other than that, man, I thought the song was cool, um, I, it, I don't, I mean, this is just me personally, I, I, I can't see how it got to number two on the billboard. I, 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 don't, I was thinking the same damn thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see how that happened. It's not a bad song, but number two on billboard yeah. behind Shadow Dancing? I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I mean... <laughs> Go ahead, Russell Jazz. Go ahead and tell them, tell, them, yeah, tell them how you really feel. <laughs> I, the song was cool. Uh, number two was a little high for me. But shit, I, I was I born when it come out. Uh, seventy eight, February nineteen seventy eight. Oh, I wouldn't know nothing about music at that time anyway. Uh, February. Oh, I was like a couple months old. No, nah, I don't know nothing about this shit, yo. This shit, I did not like this song at all, yo. I like the horns though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, hmm. I did like the horns, yeah, but you know, yeah. people in the comments gonna hate us. They be like, yo, how could yeah. you not know this song? This is a good. I like Shadow Dancing way better. I can see why Shadow Dancing can't yeah, got the number one. Yeah, Shadow Dance is fire, yo. And honestly, yeah. we, 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 this might be a Back to the Future moment because I don't even know when Shadow Dance's video is coming out because it might come out first. <laughs> I thought it's already <laughs> out. <laughs> nah, not yet. It's not Ooh, yet? Oh, not okay. Yet. <laughs> well, it might be a Back to the Future <laughs> yeah. situation. But either so. way, <laughs> yeah. I mean, this song, it's, it's whatever, yo. Uh, they let my they let my man with the guitar work a little bit. They didn't let yeah. my man with the sax get off like that. Um, yeah, I mean the lyrics are pretty like. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, uh, I it's mean, okay. You know yeah, that's what it, it is. The song is okay. It, it, it didn't make me feel yeah. nothing. That's 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 what it is. Though. You know, music is supposed yeah. to make you feel something. This and I would have loved him to have some more tone and inflection in the later verses to kind of show more of a vocal range, but maybe he just doesn't have that. Yeah. I, I don't know. I was looking for I was looking for that pop in this song, and I didn't quite get it. I started to feel it when the guitars came on and did his little riff, and then it went into the sax, and then the song cut off. So I, it was yeah. the song was just okay. I mean, it's not a number two. And I, don't, I don't feel I'm, that. When I'm, 
what you just said describes like my feelings. Like it didn't make me feel anything. It was like ah, I thought somebody might do. Uh, like I didn't feel anything. It was a decent song. Uh, I'm not mad at it. Probably never play it again. Yeah, you Sorry, know it's like uh, Jerry Raff Rafferty. Jerry yeah. Rafferty. Not that Baker would, Street. He yeah. Would ever end up on this channel? But if you ever end up on this channel, Jerry, yo, motherfucker, give us another song we should listen to. When yeah, you, uh, please. Yeah. When you get loose, go ahead. And look, he, if he's out, he's other... out, he, he died in 2011, yo. Oh, so. damn. Did, right. oh, nah, right. I feel okay. even worse. So my bad, Jerry. All right. Let's well. Go. I don't know. But, you know, look, if there are folks out there that are alive that know this song, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> let us know, you know. If they, of course, if they're going to let us know they're alive, but let us know in the comments below, because, look, as of right now, this is all we know from Jerry Rafferty, you know, so I'm, I'm hoping we get something else, because I don't know, man. Maybe this song was riding the wave of a previous song that he did. I don't know, you know, so I don't know. But um, if there are, put us in the comments below. Let us know. And uh, as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Phenom202, what say you? Yeah, I mean, you know, if you come to the channel, we give honest reactions. Some stuff ain't hit, yo. I'm pretty sure I can give y'all some songs. I'll be like, that shit is trash. Hey, to each his own, but you know, mm -hmm. stay for the journey. We have a lot of good music that we listen to. And we got some music that are a little shaky, baby, but we give it a chance to see if it's mm -hmm. going to stay on our palate, yo. So yeah. just come along on this journey with us, baby. And there it is, y'all. That's it. Uh, thank you, Phenom202, for the words of encouragement, because we need that right now. <laughs> it's a little low right now, so there we go. Everybody give us a couple of claps for that man right there. <laughs> Yeah. Core boy, don't forget that motherfucker underscore Hollywood DBA. As always, share, like, subscribe, and we on to the next one. Peace. This is where it's at. Is. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that.